So I came out here today to eliminate the amur honeysuckle because as I look around and notice the amur honeysuckle weeds popping up all over the property, not just Japanese honeysuckle. But as I was in here, I'm uh, thinking about getting ready for mulching and I'm noticing that there are seeds from you know, the uh, lesser celandine and you can see like here's some some strings of the stuff so I'm expecting that what's gonna happen here down on the ground below this there's probably gonna be some seeds of course now that I've started taking a video I'm not finding any but you know this is probably another area in here but all the here we go so all of these little seeds are rolling around now because the lesser celandine here we go here's a little bit more the lesser celandine is nothing but just the seeds left on the um on the stems of the plants so all those seeds are just rolling around in here now. so that's where I really missed an opportunity to get rid of the lesser celandine while it was still yellow and before it went away. Now, it's not even Memorial Day weekend. It's still May, something like May 22nd. And now I've pretty much completely missed my window and trying to find the seeds in the dirt is much harder. And I just didn't get to it before it's time to you know, lay down some heavy mulch and just hope that stuff doesn't come back next year like it did this past year. Uh, you know, there, there's probably areas all over that it's just too late. You know, I just missed it. Now, I did try to get in here um, and go through and pick out areas around here but all that's doing is just keeping it from being worse than it was this year because all those additional seeds are gonna make new plants and that's why this area where I didn't clear it all may be worse next year and that's just the way Lester Solandine is going to be if you don't get after it. I'm just realizing how bad that plan is now.